Guys, Amy and Loey here giving you your playfulness experiment or your playful experiment for the week. If you don't already know, this is what you do with a partner, probably on a Zoom call. And the partner is from our group. No one can tell us. And we assign those for you so you can go find the list and see who you're with this week and have at it. Here's the game. Um, this one is actually uh, like your coming up with this box, a sensory box, or we could even, the reason I say sensory box is because this came from an idea that a friend was telling me that they have to do for their son when he needs to get calmed down. He comes, he has a sensory box and like whether or not we need to calm down or not, this is just a really cool, beautiful idea to think about. Okay. If I wanted to feel completely calm or more than calm, like in touch with who I am at my core, if I wanted to feel the most amazing amount of beauty and pleasure and serenity in the world, what would I use, actually use to do that for myself, to get myself into this place of amazing beauty? What would I put in a box? If I wanted to like carry this bag or this box around with me and get myself at any moment, I could tap into infinity and my, my pleasure and beauty. If I could just open up this bag and it would be a reminder, the things in it would get me there, what would be in it. Um, so you may already be having ideas, but the reason it's also called sensory box is because you want to use your five senses as a guide. You know, what would you want to look at to put you in the best place of beauty and serenity and inspiration and calm, just infinity? What would you want to hear? to put you there into that magic place? What would you want to touch? What would you want to taste? What would you want to smell? You know, and that, and that's cool because we don't always, we might just think of like, Ooh, well, I want, you know, whatever my favorite, I'm going to say this blankie from when I was little <laughs> because I still have my blankie from when I was little. And it is totally something that can bring me into this like state of home with myself and like balance and beauty and serenity. But what else, you know, and like, th like that would be the touch. Like I would touch her. She's very silky she is, yeah. or I would touch my kids. Like if I mean, I don't think I can put it in a box, but like, could <laughs> I put like my beautiful daughter's face or, or hands, you know, like holding hands, um, or like what smell, what smell would you put in there to make you just one of your shirts? <laughs> I want to smell you. We love each other just so much. Um, so no, you know, and I actually love vetiver. Uh, there's like a, an essential oil called vetiver. And I mean, I don't even know why, like what my relationship to this thing is. Cause it's not like a smell that I smelled when I was a kid, but I could totally see how you could want like warm, the smell of warm cookies or something in there. That's like a fond memory associative kind of thing. But like for me, vetiver, I mean, it was, it's like out of this world. I've got some like cosmic connection with the smell of vetiver and it is supposed to be like a grounding calming kind of um essential oil but i love it man it's like whoosh it takes me to that place of like infinite wonderfulness you know this like balanced everything is all right in the world um kind of thing just from smelling it so i would do that what about you for like what you would look at like what with your eyes look at I like to look at the water or the trees blowing, but I don't know how to put that in a box. And I like blue or thing like there's like a really deep midnight blue, so I might like pick a artwork or something with that really deep blue in it. But yeah, I'm I'm with you like nature. I really love. I might even do nature for the smells, like the smell of wet smells dirt. Good, yeah. Oh my gosh, I love the smell of dirt. It does um smell good I mean, you know, nights. and people would laugh at me some some people that don't understand nature or just whatever. They're just it's not as much of their thing. Um or touch like mm, I don't know. I did talk about touching my blankie. Uh what which one do we do? Oh, here. What sound would you do? Uh, I like waves crashing at the beach. That's a really good one. Yeah, that's a good one.
birds. I love to hear like birds, birds or even um, just like a whoosh of nothing. You know, when you're like outside and everything is totally silent or you're like up in the woods on a hike and just like away from everything or there's a moment where like no airplanes have flown over and no cars have passed and you just kind of hear like nothing, just whoosh, silence, you know? Um, I love that I also, sound like, too. also like maybe my favorite song or something like that. Yeah, absolutely. Music yeah, would be like a big deal in this, like sound, like what song. There's like certain sounds in certain songs. Right, like there's yeah. a Karma Police by Radiohead, and there's this little song or sound that they do in the middle chorus or whatever. It's like, ah, it sounds oh, like little yeah. angels or something in there. And anyway, I, I really like that sound. So, yeah. And which one did we not do? We did all the other things. Smell, taste. 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 taste is hard. Taste, taste isn't is hard. hard. Taste is like uh, chocolate cake or something, you know? Oh, wait, like, no, ice cream. Ice cream. Yeah, is you my do favorite. love ice cream. I mean, yeah, it could be something like that. Um, I don't know. I mean, yeah. So, favorite meal. But something that, because it might not, might not even be my favorite meal. It might be like something that's super cozy. Uh, there's like dinners that are like stews or something that kind of make you feel in this like, it wasn't like sugary, like overstimulation. It was just like, oh, you know, just this nice stew. Uh, so anyway, um, you're going to be together doing what we just did, saying what in your, what could be in your box, what gets you to that infinity place. And you can add multiples. If you're like, oh my God, I need 10 visual things. Well, hey, what does that tell you about yourself? You're probably a visual person. Um, and that's okay. Like say all 10. I mean, no rules on how many things can be in the box. I mean, if there was an actual box and we were doing this, it might actually, be. I think the guy that I, I'm just giving some more examples, but the guy that I was talking to, he was talking about like rice, like a, a, buy, a bag of dried rice to like put your hands and like um, feed it through. There's like a soothing kind of satisfying feeling of like all the rice particles. And they said something about like a feather to like stroke or something. Um, like feathers, yeah. so anyway, just, you know, ideas for getting you guys thinking on what it could be. So enjoy.